All right, ladies and gentlemen, here I have two saxophone mutes, although this, what we more commonly call a mute, is actually not a mute at all. This, on the other hand, is an actual saxophone mute. This thing is designed to flatten the lowest end of a saxophone because it is inherently sharp. So this isn't really going to be a comparison of these two, but this is just me explaining to you the differences and what they actually do. Okay, so this one is for alto sax. This one is for tenor sax. Let's put this thing in and see what we got. But first, just let me show you what this thing looks like. So I paid around $9 for this thing. It looks pretty cheap. Let's see how effective this thing is. Has this carpeted felt thing that's around it. And this is for tenor saxophone, Neotech, paid around $11 for this one. Okay, so let's start with this one and see what we got. So we just take our mute here. We got the bell. Pop that in like so. Do not put an alto one on a tenor. It goes way down in the bell beyond the actual tone holes. Okay, so let's try it first without. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, Neotech calls this a sax tone filter, but really it's an intonation device. I'm going to try different variations in this position, and you can see how it affects the pitch. Okay, this is without. <laughs> Closer to 45 degrees. This is a fully closed position, parallel. Okay, that makes a huge difference. But when it's in this fully parallel position like this, it does make it very difficult to play the low B flat. I'm going to try it at a more aggressive angle, but not fully closed. Okay. All right, let's do a recap here. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so here's what I think. This product is actually very useful. I think if I were to get another one, I would get one that was made of a different material. It was a little difficult to get it to set in the horn and stay in the position that I want it to, but this actually works. I want to be very specific about why this thing is actually stupid because the listening back, it does actually mute the sound, but it doesn't mute the sound in any significant way. In other words, this thing is muting the sound in a way where I could just play quieter. So what's the point of having something like this? I don't, I don't really get it. It's not a mute in the same way that a brass instrument is gonna have a mute where you significantly mute the sound. This is like, if you're so lazy, you just don't wanna play pianissimo. I don't know, I, I just, I see absolutely no function of this thing whatsoever. And on top of that, it actually makes the bell tones kind of useless. So that's my 
I still have the option of returning this and I am going to do exactly that. Okay, a saxophone mute can be very important for classical music because classical saxophonists, because of the style of the music, it's just not really acceptable that you just randomly subtone a note in order to fix its pitch. You don't really have that option. In jazz, rock, blues, fusion, this kind of stuff, we have that option. So something like this is much more ideal for classical saxophone playing. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's all I got for you. See ya. Oh, uh, before I leave, I want to plug the next thing that I have coming. And it's a way for you to hear yourself on every gig. And if I've made one video that should go viral, it's that one. Because it's not just for saxophone players. Brass players, clarinetists, maybe even flute. But that's going to be coming very soon. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for tuning in. See ya.